Hey, Black Cat Studio here. Today I'm playing Gennaro, one of the characters unlocked by default, Vampire Survivors. By default, he has a plus one to projectiles, which makes him a very, very powerful character to start out with. I picked the tarot card Iron Blue Will to go with this because it gives your knives a chance to both bounce and pass through walls or enemies. It and Slash, which gives you critical strike chance, are very, very good with Gennaro. He starts with the knife, and to evolve knife, you need to get the bracers, which increase your projectile speed, and they evolve into the Thousand Edge. But I'll be showing you that soon. There are bracers. Gennaro is one of the stronger characters to start with, in my opinion. I've had some very good luck with him, with uh, farming gold, especially early on in the save file. He's your first real chance to get plus one to projectiles in any way, so... It's pretty useful really early on. Even like small bonuses mean a lot. Yeah, my cards are so nice in this level. Because this is mainly a projectile character, I'll just be mostly picking whatever easy projectile weapons there are. Focusing especially on getting the lightning ring since you get the duplicator with that, which adds up to two projectiles to everything. But with the duplicator and Gennaro's passive, you have a Automatic plus three to everything. Every projectile. Oh, first boss. I would like everyone to freeze. First treasure chest. Awesome, lightning ring level up. Lightning ring scales so well with additional projectiles, so a really, really good pick early on, especially. It's not something you can really choose where it goes or anything, but it's very effective in the sense that it clears out all the excess enemies around you. Man, that was quite a few levels. Oh, this level's always the hardest of all of them, I feel like. One is the basic level. Stage 2 has a huge enemy density, which can make it really hard for certain characters. Stage 4 has also a huge enemy density and a lot more traps, but in general, it doesn't have enemies as beefy as this one, and it doesn't have as many things to get stuck on, I find. There's a lot of things to get stuck on in this particular map. And then 5 has like a lot of special mechanics, but even so, a lot of its stuff is still less tanky than the stuff here. Yes! No! Didn't really want that. I always try to get at least one weapon really focused and leveled up as quickly as I can, just so that if I can get an early evolution that I get it. It usually pays to specialize in one particular weapon in this game, or at least one at a time, and then over time you can build up your arsenal. You also have to balance that with whether you can actually find the weapon or not, because as you unlock more and more weapons, it gets harder and harder to actually find specific weapons. Lots of stuff that you have to banish just to find the thing that you're looking for. Ooh, low late knife. Awesome. God, these blue things are so tanky. And they're like the second enemy you see. One of the reasons why this map is so hard, because you get XP starved so early on by like the really tanky shit that you encounter. Like, I'd be fine to fight it later, but... The order that it comes in is just really, really cruel. Ooh, triple. Oh my gosh! An early evolution! Usually you can't get them till after the 10 minute mark. Nice! Thousand Edge is the upgraded knife. It's basically just a machine gun that never runs out of ammo. It's great. Thousand Edge is really, really good for killing bosses specifically. Really easy to focus on one particular thing. Depending how you kind of move, you can actually like shoot it at a lot of things very easily. Ooh, Minotaur is nice. Gimme. Oh wow, those actually hurt a lot more than I expected. I'm gonna farm them for XP, but that's a bit rough. Okay, bracelet's ready to evolve, and so is the lightning ring. Need to find a boss. Gimme. Evolution. Evolution. Evolution! 
bracelet evolves into the fire bracelet. I'm really struggling to find all of the perks that I need. Oh, a sucky sucky. Also known as super attract. <laughs> but I feel like sucky sucky's better. Oh fire. Just spinning a bit actually really helps. There's just so many knives going everywhere, especially with, uh, what is it, blue iron will. Everything's bouncing off, so it just makes sure that there's projectiles everywhere always. Duplicator, finally! Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for that. Ah, eh, projectiles! Projectiles! Spin! Spin for your life! Oh god, that's, that's a boss. Die, 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 die! Finally the duplicator now, so we can get the Thunder Loop. You can't see what I pointed at the screen. Ah, too many things firing at me. Away. Leave me alone. Why does there have to be so many projectiles? And maybe I should have had garlic just for the sake of that. Just to kill the projectiles, because it's pretty good at that. Oh no. Oh no. Even with four evolved weapons, this is still so hard. No good reason for it to be this hard. I might take the Laurel after I evolve the guns. But I need to get the other gun and level it up first. I will say, Bizarre's challenge aside, this is a pretty fun map. Lots of cool automatons and stuff. There we are. Flamethrower! Now I have flaming knives! Ah, uh, that's actually a really cool combination. <laughs> Finally. I've been looking for you for so long. Oh, hello. Poseidon. Uh oh. You're tanky. But not tanky enough. Fire bracelet. This one does explodey stuff. Little bit more to the right to get the arrow. I'm gonna get that in prep for the laurel. Now my pickup range is ass. Oh well, I'll be picking up the attract orb eventually since it's on the map. What I really need is a super attract. That would be nice right about now. Fortunately, there aren't as many light sources on this map in my experiences, or at least if there are, I don't really know the best way to look for them. Oh, best. Whoa, that Minotaur pack just got demolished. I'm for Firagi, or however you want to pronounce this. Fear, fear, yeah, Firagi. Feels with revival. Why are all these fish so buff? And armed? Like, would it be cannibalism to eat a merfolk? Or would it just be cannibalism to eat the top half of a merfolk? It should be right on top of me. Why am I not seeing it? Oh, it's right over here. Now I just need to actually get the Laurel. Also, boss killing. Fortunately, these things are very strong, but not strong enough. Laurel! Wow, there's a lot of levels. Yeah, I have Laurel and it's level 5 now. <laughs> Convenient. Ooh, a quintuple chest! That is a lot of regen. I see the last tarot card chest! Here we are. But we do got get mad groove. Awesome. Gimme. Give me XP. Time to fucking melt. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> There's stuff in every direction. Cool. Okay. If I can get a big glut of XP, that would be really nice.
egg. Point zero one of curse. Wow, so many levels. Oh shit. Wow, oh my gosh. That attract orb is so nice. Oh, I can pick everything up now. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, summon things. Summon more things for me to kill. Yeah, Minotaur Horde. <laughs> that didn't last long. Time for the Crimson Trout. And now I'm next to unkillable. Caps incoming damage at 10. Even the Reapers can't deal much damage to me now. Just gonna try to trigger the trap every time it's on cooldown, because all of the traps in this level give extra enemies. Not like the fourth level, which can give meteors. Om nom 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 Minotaurs. Yeah, Red Crystal. It's always exciting picking up Red Crystals. Still fun, every time. Because you never know how much XP's in them. Either there's a big amount, or a really big amount. They're always fun. And XP. Crap. Crap. Oh, crap. Yeah. Boss time. Everything's a boss. Go around, pick up as many of the big red crystals as we can. Oh, wow. Now things are getting serious. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, add more trap too. Add trap. Yes. Yes. Give me more power. Can't damage me much because of my crimson trout. I can bring it. Now give me a reaper. Oh, at least one cross. Wow. Now to keep walking. Ooh, there's more chicken over here. Yeah, drop and give me an egg, will you? Ah, the Ripper is so temperamental. Now, where is that chicken? Chicken! Another one. Another, another reaper. I am actually getting a bit low on health, though. I'm in danger! Oh, I caught them! Yes! <laughs> this is the last little bit of XP. Cool. This is what happens when you end up killing all the Reapers. Wend? Wind. Life wind. Yeah, hug. Le Ruse. Oh. Damn it. But I'm still here! Oh. Why do they give me so many revives? They can't trust me to do anything responsible with them. That's Gennaro. Great character. Very good way to farm things initially when you just have the basic characters. Definitely would recommend. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye!